Morning guys, Al here. So training tip of the day is going to be about the foam roll. I'm not going to go ahead and show you how to foam roll. There's so many stuff out there that tells you what to do um, as long as you are kind of really no wrong way to do it really. As long as you're pausing through your, your foam roll and relaxing and letting it really do its soft tissue work. But the thing that I would be concerned about is paying 40 bucks for one of these. I actually got this in my clinic um, on the discount. They actually they actually sold it for about 20 bucks. Pretty good. But the thing is, I've had this for so long that it's not doesn't have that give. So what I recommend doing is buying a PVC pipe over at Home Depot. This one in particular cost me about eight dollars, and there's definitely no give, and it definitely gets um, those tight muscles, fights fire with fire. <clears throat> and this one is actually my favorite one. Uh, my brother got this one for free. It's exact same um, size as a regular foam roll and it definitely it's a little heavier um, I like it that it's heavier because then it doesn't roll around or anything like that this one tends to roll around just a little bit just because it's a lighter but I like to have this one on the go I'll, I'll put it <clears throat> you could probably cut this in half and put the, the half of it in your gym bag or anything like that all right guys this is Shaco day eight so it requires me to do rack pulls in the beginning and at the end of my session and I remember in this particular session these these uh, knee sleeves that I have on the Elite FTS medium sleeves were kind of bunching up and getting in the way um, I'm not used to deadlifting with the sleeves on but I just thought I'd give it a try because usually my knees feel pretty good while wearing them but they just felt like they were getting in the way let me know if you guys deadlift in your Ray-Bans because I I feel like I have my Ghetto Man's Ray-Bans and they are not cutting it right now. Alright guys, moving on to the bench press. For this particular session, I was counting four Mississippis on the bottom hold. I was trying to emphasize that pause at the bottom. I definitely knew I was going to count really fast in my head, so I purposely gave myself four Mississippis even though I knew the goal was going to be two seconds. So it worked out perfectly. I have a little two second hold there. Moving on to the second part of the main lifts in Shaco day number eight, uh, more rack pulls. And I remember in this one, I was really getting a little dizzy. Usually that doesn't happen, but in this particular case, I was seeing a little bit of shooting stars. I'm not sure if that's quite regular with this program, but for some reason, just those rack pulls were definitely hard for me. I'm not used to pulling from racks and I felt on paper it was going to be a piece of cake because it's a you know a shortened range of motion but when I started to do them it just didn't feel right starting from the very mid uh, mid part there mid mid range of motion so I'm hoping that this is going to bring my deadlift up to that wonderful 600 pound deadlift eventually. Alright guys thanks for watching train hard.